All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about another topic that I decided I wanted to talk about with you guys. I decided to pivot this new series instead of making it just frequently asked questions. I'm also going to be talking about things that I want to talk about. So if you still have a question that you want me to answer, let me know in the comment section below. You could drop it in my Instagram messages or my email but I also will be talking about things that I think will be beneficial and helpful to you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway. We're like 50 or 60 subscribers away. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So with that being said, today we're going to be talking about something that is going to be helpful to almost every single trader out there, and that is emotions. Trading is a roller coaster of emotions. You're going to feel lots of different things when you're trading. Everything from happiness and joy to grief and depression and everything in between. But there are two emotions that you need to be careful of that could ruin your whole trading career. The first emotion is fear. And the second emotion is going to be greed. So fear and greed is something that a lot of people talk about. It's very common, but I want to give my two cents about it. So the very first thing that we will talk about is why do traders feel fear? The main reason that people feel fear when they're trading is because they are scared of either missing out on a move or they're scared they're not going to make any money or they're scared to lose money, something along those lines. But one of the most popular things is FOMO, fear of missing out. So when you have FOMO, it's because you're scared that you're going to miss the move. You're scared that the market's going to leave you behind. You're scared that you're not going to get a chance to make any money when you're trading. So how do you avoid that fear and not fall into FOMO? The solution to that is understanding your trading edge. So what do I mean by understanding your edge? Well, if you know your strategy to the T, you know how to fit yourself into the marketplace because a lot of traders try to force themselves into the market. They impose their will on the markets instead of letting the markets come to them and figure out a way that they can fit in. So once you figure out a way to fit in, that's when you really understand your trading edge. And once you understand your edge and you figure out where you fit in, then you're not going to be scared of missing out on a major move. There are some days when I'm trading and the market may rally 100 points that day, but maybe I got short for six or seven points. I still made money, but I necessarily wasn't right on the move for the day, but maybe my strategy, my setup appeared, I was able to pull out six or seven points. I was able to fit into what the market was doing regardless. So that's my first solution to avoiding that emotion. To avoid fear, you need to understand your edge and let the market come to you and not force yourself into the market. The second emotion is going to be greed. So a lot of traders get greedy because when things are going good and you're in profits, you have a winning trade, it feels like it will go on forever, that it'll never end. And most traders' first instinct when they're in profit, especially if you're trading with a decent sized trading account, you might be a couple of points in profit and see that you know, you're a couple hundred bucks, a few hundred bucks, maybe even a thousand or two dollars in profit. The very first thing that comes to mind is, let it ride, what if I could make more? but that is greed talking. So the solution to that is once again, understanding your edge. If you understand your edge and know where you fit into the marketplace, then you will be happy with what the market gives you because you know later on there's going to be more opportunities and you know exactly when to get in and get out. So another good example, like I said, let's say the S&P 500 rallied 100 points today, but maybe I only got short for six or seven points, but I still made money. If I said to myself, let it ride, what if I could make a couple extra hundred dollars? Then I would get stopped out and end up losing money. But let's say, like I said, my strategy told me to get short. I have a good exit point where I take my profits and then the market rallies and goes the opposite direction for the rest of the day. Because I understand my edge, then I don't get caught on the wrong side of the market where I get stopped out and then I end up losing money when I had a perfectly good winning trade. And this happens all the time. If you guys watch my trading blog, you'll see that a lot of times on the S&P 500, because that's all that I trade, there will be plenty of days where it's a bullish day. You know, the market's trending higher. I get short for six, seven, maybe eight points and I get out for the day and then it keeps rallying. It's because my strategy, my setup tells me to get short. I understand my trading edge. 
but I don't try to force myself into the market and be greedy and take things further. And greed also comes from fear. The reason that people get greedy in the first place where they have, you know, that one winning trade and they're trying to let it ride so they can make more money. The reason they don't take their profits and realize some actual gains is because they're scared they're not going to be able to replicate that. If you understand your edge, you will know that, okay, there's definitely going to be another trade opportunity. There's going to be hundreds of more of these trade opportunities. So I'm just going to take what the market gives me and get out. So those are the solutions to avoiding those two emotions when you're trading. If you are fearful or you're greedy, you need to work on understanding your edge. And that comes through backtesting. That comes through studying your success and your losses. You also need to gain experience. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully this helped you out if you are dealing with fear or greed in your trading. All right, you guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your trading week. I, I'm not trading this week, so hopefully you guys are doing well for me. All right, everybody. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out, you guys.